I have been tagged by one ovation celeb for the purpose of a two question uh, oddity quiz thing. <laughs> he has chosen me along with uh, four other people to answer his two random questions. Now, I'd like to just say for the record that I think it's cool that Mr. Ovation Celeb decided that the Queen of England was down to earth enough to actually be one of the people that he selected. I want to see what the Queen has to say. She's she's royalty, she has a certain amount of influence and power, so uh, she could eat anywhere that she wanted to. So I'm curious just to see from, from a perspective of somebody who doesn't have that kind of influence and power, what a person like that would, would choose. And of course the Prime Minister as well. But uh, the two questions that he asked that he would like an answer to from me are, number one, if you could have one free meal anywhere in the world, any restaurant, I think he said specifically local area, but I'm saying anywhere in the world. Um, and my answer really nullifies that particular statement anyway, so it doesn't matter. But um, if you could have one free meal at a restaurant, and it could be any kind of food that you could have, what would it be? Well, this is sort of going to disappoint you, my friend, because I'm not a big fan of food, to be honest with you. I mean, I know I showed you all that I'm out of shape, but that's simply just because I'm inactive, you know? If I didn't sit in front of my computer for 25 hours a day, I'd be in better shape. That isn't me gobbling down tons of food all the time. I'm just as happy eating cornbread as I am eating filet mignon. If it stops me from being hungry, then it did its job, you know? I, I'm just as content um, gorging myself on the breadsticks waiting for the food to show up as I am for the food itself. So, to be honest with you, you know, I, it doesn't really matter to me. If it's free and it's tasty and it stops me from being hungry, cool, I'm happy. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my answer to your first question. And my second question, or the second question that he asked me was, uh, or asked us was, do you prefer a wet shave or an electric razor? And I have to say that they both have their merits. I mean, you can see I'm a hairy dude. They both have their merits, um, but I would personally probably say that a wet shave is better than an electric razor because of the simple fact that if an electric razor isn't fully charged, if it's kind of like running low on the battery or the battery's wearing down, um, the, the blades don't spin fast enough and it's like pulling the hair out of your face rather than actually cutting it. And that's not a very pleasant experience. I mean, don't get me wrong, an electric shaver is very handy. When you're on the road or you're trying to get somewhere quick, you just turn it on, rub it against your cheek, and your hair is gone. That's pretty cool. But I think all in all, I, I prefer a, a, a wet shave. I would actually one day like to learn how to use a straight razor beyond the things that I usually use a straight razor for, um, to, to learn how to shave, because you have to actually pull the skin against the blade rather than push the blade. It's there's a, it's a, a particular technique that I, I would probably end up missing most of my, you'd have these big scars and holes where my cheeks would be from me trying or splitting my throat open or something. Be a Sweeney Todd reenactment. Um, so yeah, those are the two questions that he asked um, that I answered. And now apparently my responsibility, because I don't do these tag things, but um, I got a particular message from him asking me if I would be so kind to, so I am. Um, so I have five people that I um, am going to uh, ask these two questions to, and those five people are right there. Um, my first question is this. We live in a pretty messed up world. There's a lot of horrible, horrible things that are happening. If there was one thing that you could remove from existence, what would it be? If there was one thing about reality, if there's one thing that you could just say no longer exists, what would that one thing be? That's my first question. And my second question um, is a little bit more, uh, you know, a little, a little bit less, uh, you know, esoteric. Uh, if you could put a political party in office right now, and I'm not talking about the primary two, remove Republicans and Democrats. Out of all the other political parties that are available today, if you could choose one of those groups and put that particular group, a representative of that group, into the White House to be the president, the next president, who would, what group would it be and why? So, the two questions for those five people. If there was one element of the world today that you could instantly remove, what would it be? And why, if you want to throw that in there. And secondly, 
If you could choose a representative from a, an alternative political party beyond Republican and Democrat, remove Republican and Democrat from the, the selection, if you could put somebody in office from an alternative or a, you know a, a third party candidate in the White House and make them the next president of the United States, what group would it be and why? So there you go. There's my two uh, answers and my two questions. See y'all later.